Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Xlyru and today I am going to be showing you the best strategy to defeat players in Arena 4. Now, this is the battle deck that I will be using. Um, as you may know, I do have a lot of cards. The only one I'm actually missing is the Witch. But, if you don't have these cards, whatever you swap out with, make sure it's a good substitute. Like, say if you don't have the P.E.K.K.A. swap out for say like a Giant. Um, if you don't have the minion horde, swap out for the minions, and just stuff like that. Anyway, um, the best two out of this deck that you kind of need is the Pekka and the Mini Pekka. Them two are a great combo, and they will get you through pretty much any uh, attack that you have. Uh, third of all, I cannot stress how much you need this baby dragon. He'll get you out of uh, any trouble uh, with air defences, like, such as minion hordes or things like that. Um, you need the prince because his charge will take out things like mini peckers and it will do damage to like giants, knights and stuff like that. The hog rider is a preference. I like to put him down, say if I get one of the uh, side castles down or the arena towers. Uh, I like to put him down as like a quick, um, like strategic, so he can just push on to get the kings, like the main castle. Uh, the minion horde is to take out things like the pecker, the mini pecker, the prince and stuff like that. The musketeer is to take out things like the baby dragon and can, the musketeer I like to have because it can shoot across, like the moat or the stream, at things like the... Um, Tesla Tower, the Expo, the Inferno Tower, the Cannon, and things like that. And the free spell, this you don't have to have. I like to use the free spell sometimes, say if they deploy something like, I don't know, like if they have an army coming towards me, of say minions and the baby dragon and a musketeer, I like to put the free, free spell down so I can counter whatever they're coming at me with. But if you don't have the free spell, I would say swap out for the bomber. The re and as you can see here, it does work. The past five victories I've had there, all using the same true play out. But the one I'm going to be showing you actually has the bomber in. So let's go ahead and watch this. Now, at the start here, I do get the Pekka, which I'm going to place in the right corner, the bottom right corner. He puts down some goblins and a giant. Now I was quite happy when he did that because I know the P.E.K.K.A can counteract the giant and they've got the baby dragon to take out them goblins. Or actually no, I used the horde, sorry, to take out the goblins and the bomber. He uses arrows and I know now that I have the upper hand on him with the uh, elixir bar. I'll put the baby dragon down just in case he deploys any minions or anything on the way. And it's going to take the hits for me to get the Pekka up to the castle. Because I know if the Pekka got there like he did, he will take out that castle like really easily. I put down the Musketeer behind to take out the minions, but he puts down some Barbarians. I put the Mini Pekka down there to decide to distract them and to take them Barbarians out. As you can still see, that Pekka is still going strong up there. He got taken out by the last Goblin. Now I've got the mini pecker coming in to the main castle. He puts down a giant, which I'm not sure why, but he did. And as you can see, I have got a full elixir bar. I know I had the upper hand on him here. I put down my pecker to counteract the giant. Now I wasn't too worried about that prince on the left because I have my minion horde, which is going to shut him down really quickly. He puts his three minions up. I don't really care about that too much because I know that Pekka can withstand a load of hits and it was just enough for me to get my baby dragon up and right here I put down my bomber to take out them goblins and that Pekka is just going to clean up here getting a few hits on that main base wearing him down now 60 seconds left this is where we get our double, double elixir as you can see, not that many hits needed. I have my full bar elixir. 
So I'll put down my musketeer, I'll put down my main pecker. I'm not too worried about the left side because it's like in the last 60 seconds and it doesn't need that much damage. As you can see, I've got my mini pecker and my big pecker and my musketeer down. I'll put my baby dragon on the left side on that prince just in case. And right now, he cannot really do anything. This game over, I put my um, hog rider down, which is going to quickly run up and take him out. There's my three star win. And if you, if this strategy works for you, let me know. I will be doing a strategy in Arena 5 when I get it. But until then, if you like the video, subscribe, watch my uh, five magical chest openings, and I will see you in the next video.